What's clear about this school is that, that because we don't hire average people, we look to hire the best of the best, world-class teachers, because we want to be a world-class school, and then we turn them free. We turn them loose. We, we give them our orientation. We make it very clear with our expectations. They all know their roles, and then we leave them alone to do their jobs. Uh, they're nice, and they're funny. They're really funny. They give us a lot of knowledge and educate us very well. All the teachers is really nice and the activities we do is all like really fun. For me the teachers are like all friendly and then they would help you to improve academically and many parts of aspects of your life you can they would help you with it and then it's like you're like a family of the teacher not like a stranger who teaches you knowledge only you can rely on them. Mainly the teachers have motivated me a lot because I feel like their way of education is very different from schools you usually find in Taiwan. It's a lot more liberal, uh, a lot more creative, and it's kind of motivated me to maybe go for maybe more creative careers. I've been to a lot of different schools in my entire life, and I like the way that teachers teach us at school, and like our creative assignments, and how we can interact with teachers and peers. I think I spend a lot of time to try to create a um, good relationship with my students. Not that I try to be too nice to them, but I be myself and I try to find out who they are through the classes and I think it's been helping me a lot to find out um, in different way of approaching them and supporting them to learn Japanese in better way. And the feedback I get from my teachers on a regular basis is you have some of the most respectful, nicest, hard-working students that you'll ever meet anywhere. They're fun, uh, hard-working, creative, willing to try new things. It's a challenging environment to teach in, but it's very gratifying because the students will do what you ask them to do, so you need to think about creative things to ask them to do. The thing that I love about the school the most, I think, is uh, it's sort of a combination of the, the ambition that everybody has and also the, the freedom that we have as teachers and, and for the students to be creative and really like realize our ambition um, as much as we want. So that's really exciting and that just opens up so many, so many doors, so many possibilities. Students here are high caliber students. Uh, they're very highly motivated to, to do well. And, have set they set really high goals for themselves to, to go and study all around the world. They're really a pleasure to teach. The students are motivated from day one to do well. They want to learn, therefore the teachers got the right audience. They just have to come in and be ready to, to meet that challenge. I think the whole culture is so uh, supportive of educa education. It really puts it in a plateau that the feeling that education really opens the doors to the future. We've only just started to see what the potential of where the school can go. It has a really, really, really strong staff. It has motivated students, and it has a really, really uh, supportive administration. Well, I, I believe that as a superintendent, my most important job is to hire good staff. My second most important job is to keep good staff here. I think that the way you do that is through quality professional development. I, I think as long as people are growing, they'll stay. Once they become stagnant, they're going to look to leave. So we put a lot of energy and money into professional development. There's a lot of opportunities for professional development, but I would say within our staff, there's also a lot of support within the staff, and they're willing to help each other, and I think that's a really valuable thing about KAS. Watching these kids learn and the interaction they have with their, with their teachers is just remarkable. Uh, they absolutely love to be challenged. Uh, and they're happy to be here. So we want kids to be independent, we want them to be able to, to speak out and, and, and if they have opinions on things, again, in a respectful way, but be able to challenge what teachers are doing. That's kind of the difference between what the local schools do. And we're trying to bring a true American education here where kids can speak about what they believe in and, and talk about it and, uh, and really share their ideas.